So guys, Josh Kelly beats uh, Ronowski. Uh, as you guys know, uh, I'm a massive fan of Josh Kelly. Um, I've always been impressed with him. He's very talented, very good, uh, very slick. Um, I think he's a good fighter. However, I wasn't too impressed with some of the things that he did in this fight. I think, yeah, he was a lot better than this guy. He's a lot, you know, he, he, he wasn't, that guy wasn't in the same class as Kelly. Uh, but Kelly, for me, took a lot of shots in this fight. Yes, he wasn't, he wasn't ever troubled by any by Ronowski's power, but nevertheless, it's habits. I've seen him do that before. Now, you don't want to be going into fights of much higher level caliber guys that could punch um, doing what he did. It's just, it's not a good practice. I think uh, he's a reflex fighter, very talented fighter. One of the best, like I said, one of the best prospects in boxing. I really, I really like... Um, I really like him as a fighter. I think he's world class. I think he's got some something special about him. However, I don't know whether his style will work against the higher echelon of fighters or even fighters that are just below world level. Um, because he looks very good and he looks very skillful, but he's too open and he, and he in this fight he got hit a lot. The guy that he was fighting was a bit better than what he's been fighting of recent the recent fights that he's had, but. That Evanissian fight is going to be a very tough fight. You know, that Evanissian's a good fighter. And I think, although Josh Kelly, for me, would outclass him, I just think that Kelly is open. And I don't think his defense is great, you know. He has said in the past that, you know, he wants to go out there and put on a show, especially when he's fighting guys of a lower level. Maybe he'll be a lot more switched on when he fights a guy of much higher level. However, I would want to see him, uh, you know, even even when he's fighting guys that are well below his level, he should be he should be on point. Uh, shouldn't be taking unnecessary shots because you don't know it's boxing. Anything can happen. You don't want to get caught with a shot that disorientates you and you know potentially give a guy an opportunity that doesn't have one. You know because this guy wasn't in the same class as Kelly, and Kelly's very impressive. But some fighters they they're very classy. They like to they like to. Sh do a lot of showboating but they can get themselves in trouble and hopefully Kelly doesn't get himself in trouble uh, and you know he's only doing this because the guys are well below his level because he can't be doing that against much higher level opposition because they will make him pay for you know giving him free shots because this Ronowski hit him with several right hands and left hooks you know and you don't want to be getting hit by or giving a giving a world-class fighter opportunity now this guy Josh Kelly is a serious talent and he wants to move to world level as quickly as possible you don't want to be fighting any of those world-level welterweights. Even the guys just below the champions giving them opportunities to hit because they will punish you, you know? Josh Kelly and Adam Booth called out Amir Khan. Now, on the performance that I saw today, if he was to fight Amir Khan, right, for me, there would only be one winner. You know, I don't I, I don't think he's ready for Amir Khan. I think it was just a publicity stunt. Although Adam Booth was saying that he, he you know, thinks Josh Kelly's ready and he wouldn't be calling Amir Khan out if he didn't think, jo like, he's not ready for Amir Khan. Amir, Amir Khan would, on that performance on what, against that Ronowski, I actually think the Vargas fight would be a very good fight for him. Let's see how he deals with Vargas because I don't think that's an easy fight for Josh Kelly. Um, that's a tough, tough fight. Especially, you don't want to be giving Vargas free right hands right, on the, on the chin, like the way he did with Ronowski, you know, and I'm not saying Vargas is a massive puncher, he's not, but they're talking about Avenissian, he wants to fight Vargas, he even said he mentioned Vargas, now Vargas, for me, is like a gatekeeper to the world level, guys, he gives them tough fights, but he comes out second best, so really, for me, that would be a good, that would be a good acid test, if he was to beat Vargas, then, you know, he's definitely, and, and do it in emphatic style, which I'm not sure he would, if I'm honest, I don't think he beats Vargas in emphatic style. I think Kelly's a good fighter, but like I said, I don't think he would beat any of the gatekeepers to world level in emphatic style at the minute. Um, I think he's got a lot of talent, uh, very fast reflexes, puts his combinations together exceptionally. But I think there's a lot to work on. I think his defense is quite weak. Um, I think he gets hit a lot. You know, you don't... It's all right. It's all right having that slick style, that Prince Nassim kind of style where you have your hands down and... But the fact is that you can't be getting hit the way you were. You know, he was getting hit clean, you know. And people may say, well, if he fights a much better opposition, he won't get hit. Well, no, because those guys, that's how he fights. He fights with his hands down and he tries to be slick. So, you know, he's got to be, he's obviously, he's got to, 
he's got to be a lot more sharper against guys of much higher level because otherwise he he will get he will get punished against guys of much higher level because those guys are they will hurt you if you give them free shots and give them free right hands they will put you on your backside, you know. So Josh Kelly's got a, he's got the class. He's got everything it takes to get to the top level. He's obviously fighting, in my opinion, the most talented division in the world, in the welterweight division. Uh, and even the, if he moves up weight, that's a serious, serious division. So any anything around his weight, he's gonna, he, like I said, he's got. It's, it's a very talented division, you know. Uh, anything above. Or the welterweight division. Welterweight division for me is the most talented. The super welterweight division is very talented as well. So it's no easy way, ways to get a world title. You know, it's very, very difficult. But like I said, I think Josh Kelly's got the talent. If he puts his uh, head down, he has the application. Uh, I believe he can definitely go on to achieve big things and give these world level guys a tough fight. But like I said, he would have to sharpen and improve. And I don't think he's ready for even the guys just a little bit below world level, if I'm honest. I think he's still got a, li a little bit way to go. I think that Evanissian fight is a tough fight, a good fight, a g fight that will show us maybe a fight against someone like Sammy Vargas, which I think is a dangerous fight for him right now, uh, the way he fought this fight against Ranowski. So, yeah, I I'm impressed by Josh Kelly. I I'm a fan, uh, but I wasn't too impressed with the performance, although he did, he won every round. It, he just, I just think he couldn't stop the guy. Yes, he had him hurt, but he couldn't stop him. You know, I want to see a lot more because I think there's a lot more... Josh Kelly, Josh Kelly has so much class. He should be making light work of guys like Ranowski. But yeah, leave your thoughts, guys. What did you make of Josh Kelly's performance? And, and guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.